What is going on guys, DBG here, and lads, like, are 2K actually doing this? Are 2K actually still doing this, lads? Oh my god, I'm, I'm just like, just thinking what the hell is going on? I'm just honestly thinking what the hell is going on, because, man, I knew some of the stuff was bad with 2K. Man, I did not think it was this bad. I did not think 2K were going to be this bad when it came to um, content for this season. It is shocking. I don't know what's wrong with my voice. I actually really don't because I did record air. I did record video earlier and was fine. I don't know what's wrong with it now, but lads, absolutely shocking. As you can see right here. Why? Why are they keep why do they keep releasing super packs? And I'm just gonna move my face. Make that a little bit smaller. So you guys can see 11,000 VC. It's nuts. And before we but before we do get onto it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're, let's run it 668k by the end of today. 668k by the end of the day. That means we are on track for Honestly, we get it 670k. 670 or say not 670, 270k. Did I say 660k? It's 260k. I wish I was on 660k. But 260k, we can do it. We can do it by the end of the day. And we can hit 270k by the end of the month. It is definitely, definitely a possibility depending on what content UK come out with. But yeah, that would be absolutely, absolutely insane, lads. And also, lads, if you guys have not already, I am back posting a little bit on... The, uh, the B-Ball Daily channel. I'm back posting today for the first time. I posted a video kind of breaking down all the Olympics, talking about Luka Doncic, his performance, and honestly, what I believe just defensively, the Slovenian team kind of lacks a little bit. Um, Why well, I don't think they're going to win unless Luka Doncic goes and drops 45 every game, just because I do feel that they do lack quite a bit defensively. And as well as that, lads, if you guys are not already... A link to this channel will be in the description. And if you guys are not already, go subscribe to the DBG Shorts page. I upload every now and again on this one. So, anyway, we've spent a little bit too much time talking about it. Now let's get back to what this video is all about, lads. Let's get back to this right here. It's just simply not good enough by 2K. It is just simply not good enough. That's all I'm going to say. It is simply not good enough. Like I know you might, might be saying, oh, you, you don't have to buy the packs, but they're gradually giving us worse packs every day. Let's have a look at these odds. 98% chance at a diamond. Okay. Okay. But like, that means almost all the cards came out in this set, you just can't even get them. There's a 0% chance of getting any of these guys. But again, that doesn't make a difference. Like, what 2K should have done, I said it the last time, this pack should be 4,000 VC. Or, or, 15 tokens. You can open 10 of them, 15 tokens each. Why not? Why not put these in the token market? Because who in their right mind is buying an Age of Heroes pack instead of a Trial Champions pack? Or, who in their right mind is buying any of these packs instead of a Hyperdrive pack? If you buy, if you are buying packs right now and you're not buying hyperdrive packs, you're you're miss, you're doing something wrong. You are doing something wrong. I'm telling you, you're do, if you're not buying hyperdrive packs, you're doing something wrong because these packs right here have a 16% chance right at a dark matter, whereas these ones right here probably have a 10% chance at a dark matter. So um, you've got the these are by far the best packs if you're going to buy any, and they're the cheapest as well. It's seven and a half thousand VC. You're opening packs. You're paying for... Like, these packs are more expensive than Fan Favorites 2 and Hyperdrive. Let's repeat that. These are more expensive than Fan Favorites 2 and Hyperdrive. And the best freaking card in this set is the Kevin Garnett or Derrick Rose. There are six Dark Matters. And two of them are terrible MJs. And two of them are freaking Zion. Like, they're absolutely useless. You know what 2K should have done? You know what 2K should have done? And I get what they're doing. They're bringing back all the packs. They're bringing back all the super packs because that's what they do at the end of every year. 
which is I understand that. I understand that. First of all, it used to be a case where you, there's no reason at this stage in the game why they don't bring these packs back, all them back at the same time, not do them day by day, but at least make the lower the prices. Fair enough. If you want to put packs with 50 dark matters and cut, make them 11k, fair enough. But these should be 11k. This should be seven and a half k. This pack should be 6k. This pack should be like 5k VC max. And then season four should be like 4k VC. Season three should be 3750 VC. Season two and season one super packs, which are going to be coming out over the next few days, should just be the same price as base league packs. They should be. Season one, season two super packs should literally be 2000 MT. But they're not. They're going to be 11 KMT. These are too lazy to change the freaking prices. These were the price when they came out. These were the prices when they came out. And this pack came out on like the 20-something of March. And it was 11,000 VC. It's not the same damn packs, but it's 11,000 VC again. And it's the 26th of July. It's the 26th of July. And don't even get me started. Like, I've got... I got other videos to make. I got other videos to make. Don't get me started on the ban waves. That happened when people were contacting 2K Support and 2K Support said, we don't know why you were banned. They, they were like, no, you um, you were banned for breaking terms of service. And then when they said, what did I do? We don't know. You broke terms of service. Like That is the extent of what's happened, like, of those bans. And then the freaking proof that the wheel spin was rigged which we've been saying all year, we know the wheel spins rigged. Don't even get me started, 2K. I mean, there's no reason. The year is at the it, it's at the end of the year. There's no reason to not just give us a bu give us just a bunch of stuff. And I understand, like I have no problem with them putting this super pack in the game. I have a problem with it being 11,000 VC. Like that's just bad. That's just laziness. And the reason why it's 11,000 VC is that these packs were 11,000 VC when they came out. The problem is, is that they came out so long ago that 11,000 VC is basically should be getting you almost a guaranteed Dark Matter at this stage. Like, these packs came out so long ago that this is, they're now a horrendous value. And that's the thing, like, I understand 2K bringing them back, but all they had to do was just stagger the prices or do what would have been the smart thing. It's the 27th of July. Why has the token market been useless all year? I'm sitting here on 2,300 tokens. I don't have enough tokens to get a Galaxy Opal. And these are all garbage men. You made all these garbage men. Like, these cards all would have been 150 tokens last year. These cards here, 95 overalls, all would have been 60 tokens last year. You made tokens worthless. Like, why haven't you put stuff into the token market? Why has there been no packs all year? At the start of every season, you just had freaking badges. You did a half decent job at the start of the, in season three with tokens. How do you mess this up so much, 2K? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. What you did in tokens with 2K19 was perfect, in my opinion. The way the Galaxy Opal token rewards meant a lot. If you locked in for a set at the end of the year, instead of getting freaking 300 tokens like you're getting for some of these sets, you got at least you got 750 tokens in NBA 2K. Um, trying to see which ones have very few tokens. I can say out of positions. Like 300 tokens. In NBA 2K19, you got 750 tokens. And 750 tokens is worth way more in 2K19 because you got an elite 99 overall for 750 tokens. You used to get elite cards for this price. Oh, it, but this is a rant, that's a rant for a different day. That is a rant for a different day on how 2K ruined the token market. Maybe it's a rant for later today, honestly. But um, yeah, like why? What's the point? What's the point? I get it, we're getting hyperdrive packs tomorrow. But what is the actual point? Like, I get it, it's the end of the year. I get it. I, I can't remember, you made a really bad spelling mistake. There was a really bad spelling mistake made yesterday. Like, they're making spelling mistakes every single day. Like, they tweet, when they tweeted out on Friday, and they made the same, they've got a country wrong, they put in a fake card. Like, I don't know, why not? There are so many things they can do. There are so many things 2K can do at the end of the year to not only make the game better, to get themselves more money. But they just won't. They just won't. I would rather see a day of nothing. 
Like, I would have nothing to make a video on. I would literally have nothing to do. And you know what? Because it's July, I can't say, like, 2K are killing their game. Because at the end of the day, it's July. I would rather see nothing than see this. I would honestly rather see nothing than see this. And it's just getting bad. So, anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.